magnificent, isn't it? Robin Hood's Bay, jewel in the North Yorkshire Crown. Hi, I'm Carl Slaughter, and I'm here today with three scientist colleagues of mine who are going to tell you all about their learning experience. This is how they learn, why they learn, what motivates them to learn, what turns them on, what fires them up. I hope you enjoy it, but meantime, enjoy the scenery. Okay, so um, here we are down on the beach. Can you tell us something about these rocks that we're sitting on right now? Yeah, these are the Kellaway beds, and these were laid down about 120 million years ago. They're full of fossils. And the reason I got interested in geology is because I've always had an interest in rocks. But last year I did a GCSE in geology, and what inspired me to learn was having a really motivated tutor. He loved geology, and he really inspired me to get out to sort of see places like this, to look at the rocks, find fossils, and look at how the earth has developed over millions of years. Um, so most of the learning that I did was really self-taught, but he inspired me to, to read the books, to come out and look at the rocks. So what you're saying then is you found a person who really inspired you to get back into learning. And that was the, your main motivation to go back and learn something new and put all that practice into, sorry, put, oh, sorry, into practice. Yeah, absolutely, my tutor John Hickson was absolutely fanatical about geology and the history of the earth. He um, had been studying geology since he was uh, 16, he was in his early 40s, but he still had a, a lively interest in it. And just being with him really was motivation to me to be like him as far as geology is concerned. So I think you agree then that good learning can start with things such as inspiration, motivation, of course, enthusiasm. Well, as you can see, time and tide, sadly, wait for no man. <laughs> That's why I'm an English teacher, not a geography teacher. I didn't know about these things. Let's go somewhere else. Eh? Hey ho. Okay, so can you find any of these fossils around here? Oh yeah, certainly. The ammonites and the nautiloids are all from around here. The big skulls and the, uh, the claws that you see from our source there, they're just museum castings. They didn't exist around here. Uh, okay. some, in, some Jurassic beds, you can find some marine fossils, but not these land-based based animals. It's a bit tourist tap, really. But definitely the, the uh, mollusks that you can see are all from either here or Whitby. And how old would you say those were, then? Uh, they're from Jurassic uh, seas, so at least 100 million years. 100, 120 think, million years. Yeah. Yeah. Those thing, 100 million years old, yeah? yeah, the oldest antique you'll ever see is nothing compared to this. This is before people ever existed before mammals ever existed. Uh, go. Well, all this learning to learn is obviously thirsty work. So I've tracked the lads down the Laurel in here. Slap bang in the middle of Robin Hood's Bay. Cheers. 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 Well here we are inside Laurel Hill. Laurel Inn even. This is Phil, as you probably know. Phil Phil's a scientist. Tell me about yourself, Phil. What got you into science? What excites you about it? How do you go about learning new stuff? That's a very interesting question. I think I was into science because I was good at science. It gave me the confidence to go further. I think it's important for anybody to feel comfortable with what they're doing. And once, they're, once they are comfortable, be more prepared to go out of that zone, start trying new things. I was always encouraged, both at school and at home, particularly in science. And uh, I'm one of these people that really needs to know how things work. So science has always helped me understand how things work around me. And for me, learning is about understanding. It's about being able to make sense of your own reality. I see, I see, that's excellent. Thanks, Phil. Well, thanks, Phil. Well, there you have it. Phil was made to feel confident, confident about himself, about his studies, inspired him to go further. Confidence. Ian, he had inspiration from a tutor, a tutor who loved geology, who passed his love of geology to Ian. Me? I teach English. I like to be stimulated. 
There's your pen, mate. Thank you. Three, two, one, go. Well, that's just about it. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. And I hope it's given you food for thought about you can learn to learn. <laughs>